Well, we had a tremendous year in 2011. And every year the Detroit Motor Show is the start of the year for the motoring industry. And due to the fact that we have a V8 and the US market is clearly a V8 market, we picked Detroit as the world launch for our new car and our new engine. Well, up to now we only had one engine for the Continental and everybody thought it can only be the W12 6-litre engine that propulses uh, the Continental. But I learned uh, from the history that customers like to have choices. And we think if we attack the market with a double engine strategy, with one smaller displacement V8, it still has 4 litres, and still remains strong with the W12, we have a better sales opportunity. And this is the reason why we developed the V8. Well, the groundbreaking technology is, of course, the new engine. It's a 4-litre engine with 8 cylinders, and it has 125 horsepower uh, per uh, litre. And this is a tremendous power plant uh, in this kind of car. It contains the latest technology. Our engineers put in every effort in order to reduce fuel consumption and CO2 emissions. So comparably with the W12, we are 40% lower in emissions, 40% uh, lower in CO2 emissions than we are with the W12. Also, the engine is very powerful and strong, and we achieve this uh, with the technology of cylinder deactivation. So when not needed, if you are decelerating, if you are off throttle, four cylinders will shut off without uh, the driver realizing what's happening. And as soon as you step in, the power comes back and you have access to this 500 horsepower of the engine. Well, all Bentley Continentals are all-wheel drive. That means no matter what road conditions you find, even on snow and ice, you will be on a quite safe journey. So, of course, we tried to differentiate the driving style and behavior of the V8 a little bit from the W12. And we achieved this in having a more lightweight power plant in the front of the car. That means the handling, how you turn into a curve, is a little bit easier, feels more light and more sporty. And the overall appearance of the car, also the exhaust sound is a little bit more dominant, more aggressive. Overall, the V8 is a little bit more sporty than the Sovereign W12. Well, we are definitely not uh, dropping the W12 engine. It still remains the icon of our product lineup in the Continental GT because 12 cylinders are quite sexy. 12 cylinders are the uh, big power plant uh, for sporty luxury cars. And for this reason, we will apply all this technology that now is in the V8 also to the W12. W12 is core competency for Bentley Motors. And meanwhile, due to the dramatic success of our product, we are the biggest manufacturer of 12-cylinder engines worldwide. Well, of course, uh, eight cylinders are a little bit less than 12 cylinders. And for this reason, we will position the V8 a little bit below the W12. Roughly, it will be about 10% uh, more price worthy than the W12. Well, 2011 was a tremendous year for us. In total, worldwide, we had a sales growth of 37%. Uh, we sold retail 7,003 units uh, to the customers of the world. Our most important single market is still the US market, where we were able to sell more than 2,000, 2,028 cars to be precise, followed by China, where we see a 95% growth against last year and uh, sold more than 1,800 cars uh, in China. Still very strong is the UK. We were able to increase our market uh, by 5% and we are still market leader in the luxury performance segment. And I'm also very happy that even in the rest of Europe, we could increase our sales figures. And for example, in Germany, where I'm from, 
We did, we did uh, plus 88% uh, in sales this year. That means worldwide we see an increasing interest in Bentley products. We think the market comes back, people buying Bentley again. And we have a very attractive product lineup with a new Continental GT, with a new Continental GTC. And also the Mulsanne is only one year on the market. That means we have a pretty strong lineup. And with these cars and now integrating and adding on the V8, I think we have a very good position in 2012.